now we're going to take a look at metrics 3 and 4 in the right hand. Starting from the pickups to measure 3 and going through the first three beats of bar 4. The highlighted section here. Keep in mind that we have some notes that are going to be played by the right hand, namely these three here. Okay. So that's what I wanted to look at first, is, is just those three notes. If we look at it, you'll see that we actually just have a B, a C, and then a B. So it's just walking down, and we're using our thumb. So our thumb starts on the D. D, C, B, just like that. Three, and four, and one. And he's walking down. Now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and take tackle those three chords. And I'm going to start off by looking at the right hand top two notes. Okay, so we have G and A. For now, ignore the tenor voice, G, A with four and five. And then you're going to go to F sharp with third finger, three and five. And then you're going to go back to G. You can do that with fourth finger or fifth finger. So again, you have G, A, then F sharp, A, and then G. Okay, so let's do just those two voices in time. Two and three and four and one. Again. Two and three and four and one. Okay, so now that we've covered that, let's add in the tenor voice. So now we have D, G, A with one, four, five. And then you're going to go to F sharp A. Then your thumb goes down to C and then it goes down to B, G. Okay, so let's do that again, outside of time. So we have one, four, five on D, G, A. Then the right hand goes to F sharp, A. Thumb goes to C, and then down to B, G. Now let's do that in time. So D, G, A, be ready. Two, and three, F sharp, four down to C, and one. Let's do that again. Two and three and four and one. So that's a bit tricky. Go ahead and put a few extra repetitions to get that a bit more comfortable. He's more continuing with me here. Okay, so now, let's take a look at the first three chords, starting on the pickups to bar three. This starts on A, D with two fives. Then it goes down to G, C. That's just parallel fourths, so A, D, down to G, C. And then just go down to B for the third. That's all it is. That's pretty easy. Let's try that in time. Three and four and one and two and. Let's do that again. Three and four and one and two and. And now what we're going to do is just, we're just going to practice the transition from the second beat to the third beat. Okay? Because again, we have a shift. So notice anytime we have a tricky shift, we just isolate that transition. So we start thumb on G, third finger on B. And then you're going to shift down to D position, D, G, A, like that. Let's do that again. So G, B, shift down to D, G, A. Now try that as block chords. G, B, shift down to D. Once again. 
and now let's do it in time. One, and, two, and, three. Once again, one, and, two, and, three. And one more time, one, and, two, and, three. Now that we have that, we're going to tackle the entire section. Starting two, five on A, D. In time, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, shift down to D, three, F sharp, down to C, and one. Let's try that again. Three, and, four, and, one, and, two, shift down, three, and, four, and, one. And one last time, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, shift, three, and four and one. Again, put in as many repetitions as needed to for this to become habitual. Somewhere between 20 and 50 repetitions should be sufficient.